I did add some crushed black pepper on top. Not a lot, just some. I also added in three bay leaves and about a small, small, very small palm full of cloves. Now I'm gonna take some beef broth and we're gonna pour the broth in, uh oh, just to where it covers half of the beef. Okay, so I just wanted to basically cover about halfway up the roast, and then we're gonna let this cook. There's probably half a cup left in my container, so as this cooks down, if I need more liquid, I will pour that in. All right, in. you guys, this is the halfway point. So I just took it out. It's been about two hours. Now, we're gonna lower the temperature to 350. I don't need to add any more liquid. It looks like it's still got quite a bit and um, we're gonna put it in for another 30 hours on 350. Um, I can't wait to eat that, you guys. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are having Sunday Roast. So with this meal, you guys, we are having this thing cooked for like eight hours, you guys. It's so tender. It's like fall apart, juicy. Oh my gosh. I wish I did like a close up of it. I'm gonna insert a little bit of a clip before this, just so you can kind of see what I did to make it. We also have sprouts, as we say in the UK and America. You probably know them as Brussels sprouts. But... Mm. So good. I made homemade gravy. Oh, look how good this looks. It's like cooked perfectly. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. To drink again, I have Gatorade. Gatorade Zero. So today, you guys, I was like so excited that I was off. I went to the gym, second day in a row. So I feel really good. And then I also started, I purchased online today. I was thinking about like taking more vitamin supplements. Um, so I did Persona Vitamins. And it's like a personalized vitamin setup that doctors give you. So I took like the whole quiz and everything online. So my vitamins should be here by the end of next week. So that way I feel even better about myself. But I feel so much better now that I've been working out, you guys. Mm, I love sprouts. So when those vitamins arrive, I'm gonna do an unboxing. But I think it's very important that we have Things that we take that make us feel good about ourselves. The mashed potatoes are delicious with the gravy that I made. Mmm. 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 I tagged Coral Blush this morning when I was at the gym because I was like, I'm making Sunday roast. Mmm, so good. This morning, you guys, I got up, I had Bible study, and I like went to the gym super early. It was kind of rainy here, so I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to go into the jacuzzi. Mm. 
But today I worked out back and biceps. And then I went into the jacuzzi. I've been working out for like two hours every day. I also was doing some online shopping for myself. Because I don't really go shopping anymore. Like, I feel like all of my like physical activities are to a halt because of COVID. So I was like looking online and I wanted a new piece of jewelry. Mm. And one thing I've been wanting forever. Hmm. Is like a heart locket. Got like a lower hanging one, so it's like 20 inches and it's like 14 karat gold. Super cute. And I got like a scripture engraved on it. So I'll share with you what scripture it is whenever I. I guess I'll do an unboxing. Mm. This is delicious. I literally needed this today. It's been really rainy here in Houston. So today it was like storming. Mm. So really I just like when I got home I did laundry, I cleaned. I played Grand Theft Auto. I talked to some of you guys on Instagram. It's so weird how much better you feel when you work out. Like, I'm not, like, a sad or depressed person. Mm. But I was watching Mukbang in the other night, which I love. You guys need to go check out their channel. And Emma had mentioned the word melancholy. And that's, like, the perfect word to describe sometimes how I feel. Mm. Like, I'm not happy. I'm not sad. I'm just melancholy. Mm. And that's why I also ordered the vitamins from Persona. Because you take this whole, like, medical questionnaire. And they do analysis on what vitamins are better for you. So I don't want to get into too much. But the vitamins that I'm taking, <laughs> vitamins, vitamins, are based off of my answers. Mm. There's also another unboxing that I'm going to go do, you guys. I don't want to say what it is. And you're probably going to be like, what the hell? However... This looks so good. One of the people that I watch persuaded me. No, she didn't persuade me. Maybe she did persuade me. I was watching her videos and I like, like, I do not need this, but I need it in my life. So I ordered one. It was so expensive and I'm probably gonna regret buying it but you'll see when it comes I'm like why did you even check out for that but we'll see if anything I can give it away mm. I just dropped mashed potatoes on my leg I hope this little clanking isn't annoying to you. 
because that's annoying to me. Mm. See? This is delicious. Kind of makes me sad that I don't have a family to make this for. <laughs> but earlier I put on my Instagram, I finally listened to the lyrics to that freaking Cardi B song WAP you guys one I'm embarrassed for this generation's choice of song because it's literally the lyrics are so vulgar I can't even like think two on TikTok you have like 13 year olds all the way up to parents dancing to this song that's disgusting and then three, this is the legacy that this generation is leaving behind with music choice. I'm embarrassed for y'all. Like, remember back in the day, sexual innuendo was like even a, like pushing the line. Now they're just flat out saying it. Like, even if in the edited version they're saying WAP, 13-year-olds are still dancing to those. I was talking to one of my friends on Instagram. And I told her, I was like, if I had a daughter, she would not be leaving the house. And this is what's going on out in the world right now. My daughter would be locked down. Homeschooled. <laughs> no phone, no internet. The phone and internet that I would show her would be, like, from the 90s. Even better, I would, like, show her stuff from the 40s and 50s. And she'd be so unaware. I feel like that was a movie where someone did that to someone. And they had no idea that it was, like, current times. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so full. And that shot is, like, hitting me. I cleaned my plate. One more bite. I noticed in my videos I drink a lot while I eat. And they say that that's really bad. You're supposed to like drink after your meal. But I don't care. Mmm. That was amazing, you guys. I am so full, but it was like the perfect portion. Heather's birthday from Coral Blush is on Saturday, so don't forget to go wish her happy birthday. Um, make or bake it with Beth. Just got her new house. Carrie Blaze just got a new house, so go wish both of them congratulations. Um, I think those are like the main things right now, you guys. Other than that, like I said, I'm just a little melancholy, but I feel so good because I've been working out and it's only day two, but I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you then. Bye.